Hello everyone and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I'm trying a few different things. I am setting up the camera a little bit further away and I have the paper in the portrait orientation. This was an orientation that was requested so I figured I'd give it a try. It is a quarter sheet of Stonehenge Aqua, 140 pound cold press, and 100% cotton. So this painting uh, is going to be of a swan in the dark forest. I played around with this motif a little bit about two months ago with some different color palettes. I'm gonna delve deeper into it today. This one, it'll be from my imagination, but I'm gonna to try to do a little bit more detail with it. So I might make a two or three part video. We'll see what happens. Um, but I think it'll be fun. And feel free to follow along. This right here is my raw sienna. And I'm just establishing where the lake edge will be. So this will be the edge of the water. I'll have a little bend. The swan will sit most likely in this spot here. And then maybe a little bit of foreground that'll take place. The portrait orientation throws me off a little bit, mainly because with mats, the distance here, this is about 11, and I'd say the opening for a mat is 10 and 5 eighths of an inch. So it's not really much wiggle room. Grab some ultramarine blue. Also, just fitting it on the, uh, the art table and just working on this angle and stretching the paper is a little bit weird. You see that I have that bump right there. Just, um, I could flatten this paper all day, this brand, <laughs> but the moment I set it up like this and my clips are on this angle, it just doesn't want to work. But we'll have fun. Now this portion will probably not make it into the final image should have probably be painted over but it's just for me to start establishing and building the feel of the scene the back of the trees so if the forest was to extend back we'd have our edge here the back would sit about here and I'll work my way back to front I'm gonna take the number one rigger and I'm gonna go in with a mix. Let's use light red oxide and ultramarine. This is my go-to distant mountain or a distant tree line. But I think this will help build up. These guys are going to soften up, they're going to lighten up, they're going to be painted over, but they're just to start the illusion. I would say, who was it, uh, Styx, or was it Rush, the album was the Grand Illusion, but I know that my mom will comment and say which one it was. So, Mom, when you watch this, which one was the Grand Illusion? Was it Sticks? Was it Rush? Oh, it might have been uh, Kansas. I might be completely wrong. We got Hammy in the other room saying, no. I fed the cats once I got home from work. And they keep insisting that I did not. Okay. 
going to grab this mix with the hake. I'll put in that distant brush. Bring the reflections of the distant brush down. doing vertical lines in the water right now but I usually prefer horizontal over that to give us that flat water surface effect grab a little bit of Payne's gray and darken this edge up this will lighten as we go but I really enjoy Payne's gray right on the edge of water You'll find what you enjoy. You'll find your your rhythm. Now let's come up in the sky for far distant foliage. And this will, of course, of course um, soften as well. I feel like I haven't been able to speak in these videos lately. It's just the long days of work. Unfortunately, tomorrow I will not be at work. Today's a Tuesday. Um, a friend of the family had passed away, so... We have a uh, funeral to attend to. But the gentleman lived a long life, so. Yeah. That's, that's unfortunately how it goes. We'll change the subject <laughs> to building this up. I think we'll go in with a number four now. This is ultramarine and the burnt umber for a slightly darker layer of trees. These as well will be painted over and they'll soften as they dry. But the end goal is to create a dense, dark forest. Try not to pass over the um, trees in the background, but unfortunately I started doing that. So let's start trying to bury that up. It's okay to pass over them, but we do want the illusion of depth, so it helps to have them offset. These guys sit in place, bring their reflections down. This is going to soften. Paints um, ultramarine and that burnt sienna. Start building this foliage up. A little bit of too much ultramarine in it, but we'll pass over that. Bring it in the side. I have a timer going alongside me. I'm also exposing some cyanotype prints with some uh, film that I developed yesterday. I built a UV light box. To expose them so it activates it and then um, you wash it in water and the image will come back just throwing some pigment in these spots okay 
I'm gonna pause the camera real quick while I switch stuff out. Okay, so I flipped my prints over, so I am back. Now, with this, I wanna be careful with adding water to the hake brush and to the mix, because then we'll start getting that cauliflower effect. So I'm gonna edit the video to pull things in since I have this weird angle, but hopefully you can see how I'm pulling water out like that. And hopefully that was enough. These paintings are always kind of a race against time with the drying of the paper taking place, but they really do help you learn the different stages of moisture of the paper to really learn what's taking place. This is Payne's Gray. A little sap green made its way into it. Just building this up and I think we'll do another layer of trunks in a moment. And that dark shadow down, grab some burnt sienna for this mass right here. And we can benefit from some stronger Payne's Gray coming down. Get the paper to relax. There we go. Let's look some more background trees. This time I'll grab some burnt umber. Trying to get a darker mix. Burnt umber and ultramarine blue. Now I'm going to play a little bit more characteristic um, brush strokes as opposed to kind of just straight up and down trees. These guys will pass over that background foliage, so that helps create our depth. And while we're wet and wet, take advantage of the reflections. Marine, burnt umber, going for dark foliage. Help these guys sit in place. This mass in front. in come out a little bit 
further. There we go. I'm gonna eventually, I think, have a tree come off of that. Put some raw sienna in this mix. It wouldn't be so bright back there with all the trees and the light coming from far back. Now I'm going to start increasing my paints gray. And I'm just filling in these guys in the corner. Let me pause for a second. Okay, so it's starting to come together. I'm going to use. This is the sharp edge of a credit card that was cut up. Get some texture in. want to start darkening this up. We're starting to see the drying shift now where everything lightens up as it dries with watercolor. And we're still essentially wet and wet. Well, we're probably damp and damp at this point. probably get away with one or two more trees before it's time to say, hey, let's dry it off. I think at that dry off is almost say the video is going to be paused and then we'll go to another one. We'll go to part two. Get a lot of characteristic now. I like the glow from that initial raw sienna that we put in the background. Put that into this sloping edge going into the water. Mix some burnt sienna into this Payne's Gray. You do a line of just trees right there, which I know I was talking about kind of burying the trees at this point, but I do like just kind of those few trees that are just right together hanging out. Even less water on the brush now. That far edge, slight slope, 
Maybe the swan will make its way here or here. Let's get just throw some paint there. And here. And here. I'd rather have just a dark mass right there rather than a light mass coming in from the side. off here. Let's do a quick dry off. All right, so here's our first wet and wet stage. Um, pretty happy with the results. I'm gonna pause the camera, I'll start a new video. We'll go into part two, where we'll do um, dry brushing over this. So if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, follow. And if you want to support this channel, I have links down below. Um, I'll talk to you soon.